Hello, my name is Maddie, and I just got back from a five day trip to Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida with my best friend. And it was a great experience. It was just so great. Oh my gosh, like, this is great. Um, but the purpose of this video is to talk about the hotel that we stayed at, which was the Universal Studios Endless Summer Dockside Inn and Suites. Yes. <laughs> and that is one of the two value hotels that Universal offers. The first one is um, Surfside, which is just one tower and a pool. And then Dockside is two towers and two pools, respectively. Um, and it was a really nice hotel. Like, being value, I couldn't tell. I mean, granted, I couldn't see the premier hotels, which I think believe for... Cabana Bay and Hard Rock Hotel and a few others. Um, but for the price, which is under $100 a night, I personally think it was worth it. I really liked the whole aesthetic and very beachy. Definitely, it fits Florida's style with like the palm trees and the light colors. It was just really nice. And I think, I think they did a really good job with the design. And it is the newest hotel that Universal has built. I believe it's five years old. It was built in 2018. But enough introductions. I will get straight into the video now because, you know, obviously that's why you're here. So let's do it. So to start everything off, check-in officially is at 4 p.m. and check-out is at 11 a.m. But uh, the hotel allows you to do a like soft pre-check-in whenever you arrive, if it's before the standard 4 p.m. time. And we were able to drop off our luggage and all of our stuff at the luggage and package services area. And they held it for us until we came back and got it. Really convenient, really nice. Since our room wasn't ready until about, actually until about 4.30, um, we ended up just taking a nap by the pool, they gave us our key cards when we checked in, which gave us immediate access to both pools, to the arcade and also to the fitness center, which is really nice. We also got a breakfast meal meal voucher um, to eat at the Pier 8 market, which I think the food there is is really nice. I got like a, I, I didn't even take a picture of it because I was, I was really hungry. We had just come from a red eye flight, so I was too hungry to take a picture of it. <laughs> Otherwise I would have inserted it. But it was like a bread with almost like an open faced breakfast sandwich. And what was really nice about that is that it was like a cafeteria style. So you could go around and kind of pick and choose what you wanted. They had like chicken and waffles, actual breakfast sandwiches, pizza, muffins, bagels, you name it. And the hot meals are between certain hours. And then they have the grab and go, which is available leave from like 7 to 11 p.m. Um, and everything is under, I feel like, I feel like everything's under $15. So pretty affordable compared to, compared to some of the things, some of the prices I paid for food. <laughs> yeah. Um, after we checked in, we explored the hotel. There's a Starbucks right in the lobby, which is really convenient for my, for my coffee loving heart. <laughs> and there's obviously the Universal store. Um, we didn't buy anything from that store specifically because if we could get it in the park, why would we buy it outside of the park? Since the parks do, um, you can pay for it in the park and then pick it up in the city walk. Or if you're staying in one of the hotels, they can have all your stuff shipped from for free, like next day. Um, from whatever store you're in to your hotel room, which is really convenient. We didn't end up doing that because we kind of wanted our stuff then and there or like at the end of the day. Um, but that's, that's always an option that, that one could utilize. The hotel room itself is really nice. It's very, not small, but it's it's cozy. There you go. I'll say, I'll say cozy. Our, our view was nice. It, it overlooked kind of like the street and we could see some some of the like city walk, tops of the city walk buildings and a few of the rides in Universal itself, which is, which is really nice. It got us kind of, kind of set the mood. It was really cool. <laughs> Even within the room itself, the, the pictures and the styling of the, um, 
of the sheets and of the walls was definitely it was it, it flowed nicely and there wasn't like a weird break in themes between like the lobby and the rooms itself which I, I really I really think was was cool in the room there was a bathroom which had a door separating the sink from the toilet and the shower which is really convenient you know so two people can get ready at the, at the same time and then there was a tv there was no microwave but there was like a coffee maker and a mini fridge and then like a, an ironing board and which i feel like is standard for every hotel there is a random door at least i don't know about all the hotel rooms but there was a random door um that was like dead bolted from from the inside so you could per why i unlocked it and looked out the other side of it i thought it was maybe like another closet or something but there was a when I opened the door, there's like a door on the other side that looked identical to the one we had, but it was like, it was the adjoining room is what I'm guessing, which kind of freaked me out. and I didn't like it. So I closed the door, deadbolted it, pushed my suitcase against it because if you hadn't deadbolted it and someone else from the other side had opened their side, you could easily get in um, if the other person's door wasn't you know, locked, which I didn't really like <laughs> at all. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's nice if you have like a big party and you're split between two rooms, so you can easily go like in and out, kind of like dorm style. But for just two of us, kind of gave me the ick. Wouldn't, I don't know why they did that. Other than that, I ha really have no complaints about, about the room itself. Um, again, it was really cozy. It was nice coming back after a long day and just, you know, relaxing. What's funny is we didn't actually end up turning on the TV until the morning we checked out because <laughs> we didn't realize that you could ha watch free movies. Um, yeah, like the we, we had we had come to Universal for The Wizarding World of Harry Potter and we had planned on watching some of the movies when we arrived, but we had no way to watch them and so we ended up watching part of the Half Blood Prince, like as we're packing our stuff up, because we didn't we didn't realize. So just heads up, you could watch movies on there. Something that I must mention is that just FYI, if you're on some of the higher floors, the elevator, at least when we were there, because one of them was out of order, so they only left one, and then there's like a long hallway and a set of another, another set of four elevators. Um, they don't they don't really work frequently. Not frequently, but they don't, they don't run quickly. They'll just kind of sit there on the first floor or like on the top floor and, or they'll skip your floor. Like we got, our floor got skipped. I don't know how many times. So we ended up taking the stairs down because we'd be waiting 10, 15, like we'd, we'd be, we'd be waiting longer for the elevator than we would for, um, for the shuttle. Like, yeah, but the, the shuttles were, were really great. They came pretty much kind of one right after the other because I had heard that they came every 10-15 minutes but yeah pretty much what, what as soon as one left you maybe wait a minute and another one would one would show up I guess the only thing with that too is that if you're the only ones there they'll wait a good 10 minutes to see if anyone else is coming because why would they take two people to the city walk where they could take 10 if they wait longer um but you know they were on time. We had no issue getting a ride. And it only took about five minutes to get from Dockside to City Walk. There is definitely a benefit to staying at one of the universal owned hotels rather than like, I don't know, Best Western or a different hotel um, because you can get early park admission, which is only available to the hotel guests and to the universal annual pass holders. 
And with the value hotels, that's all you can get. But with the premier hotels, you can get like a few extra benefits. Like I believe you can get like express passes for certain rides or you can get them for every ride once, like per day or something. Um, although the food I've heard is better at the Dockside Hotel than at even that like the Cabana Bay or Hard Rock Cafe Hotel. I guess people have been coming to the um, Pier 8 Market to eat because it has better options and better quality food. I haven't been to any of the other hotels, so I don't really have an opinion on that. I just think that the food would taste really great whenever I went. Um, and with um, your little like key card that the hotel gives you, you have access to, at least for the Premier Hotels, you have access to any other amenity at any of the other hotels at uh, Surfside and Dockside you just have access to like the restaurants you can't get access to the pools according to to the website I haven't tried um so all in all I feel like I would rate Dockside a 7 out of 10 just because I guess I'm marking it down because I really had no like I didn't feel unsafe at all. I, ha I had a really great time. The hotel was great. It was really nice. Room service was great. But I would rate it down because the elevators um, and for the door, the weird door connecting, that's not great. And also just for the turnaround time between check-in and or check-out and check-in, like I, I expected to have to wait a few hours, but not like, since, since the hotel wasn't full and they said that if a different room was available before the one we had opened up, they would give us that room. I didn't expect to have to wait past the check-in time. Like even if we had checked in at four, we would not have gotten to our room right away. Like it still would have been half an hour. Um, so I guess that's the only other thing that I'm like, okay. Like we got there extra early and they would have given us a different room was it available and they were not fully booked so i guess that's the other reason why i would score it lower um but other than that you know the starbucks was great the market was great the window shopping and the universal store was great the hotel room was great um it wasn't too loud, which was nice. It was, it was overall a really nice experience and I would absolutely 100% recommend going to the Dockside Resort. Um, and I I'm I plan on going there again. Like I have no real reason to stay at one of the premier hotels. If I were to pay like four times as much money just to be closer and have a few better options, I mean, to me, it's not worth it. Like I'll, I'll stay where I am, you know? And that is all I have for my review. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, that would be great. Um, that would mean a lot to me. Um, and leave any questions you have or any experiences you may have had with the other hotels or with the Dockside Hotel. I'd love to hear about them. And I'll try to answer any questions you have. Um, I'm not a Florida native, so I may not be the best person, but I'll do the best I can and I'll look it up if I have to. Um, yes, <laughs> but I hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, night, and um, I'll see y'all in the next video I make, which will be my Universal Hall video, just with everything that I got. I think only, only one thing I bought is not Harry Potter related, so. Yeah, but uh, I hope you'll stay tuned for that one. It's going to be a chaotic one. Yes. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you later. <laughs>